And there's a shot after the uh, Soyuz was down on the ground and the parachute had uh, followed it. As we had reported earlier, it uh, took about two to three minutes for the helicopters to get on the ground. And there we see some replay of the crew as they uh, begin to be ex extracted from that Soyuz. As Rob Navius had reported, the Soyuz had uh, very little charring on the outside of it. You can see it there. There's always some sort of a black charring on the Soyuz after they uh, suffer through the heat of reentry. Uh, but this one is not nearly as much as they typically are. But the search and recovery forces uh, getting some pictures inside of the crew there. Once again, this is a replay from the search and recovery forces as the Soyuz TMA-19, otherwise called Olympus, had landed there uh, about uh, 80 kilometers to the northeast of the town of Arkalik. The Soyuz landed on its side. This is typical. Um, you never quite know exactly how the Soyuz is going to land, whether it's on its side or upright. but uh, they made uh, a very quick effort to open up the hatch and to uh, make sure the crew was okay and to begin the process of getting them out and to uh, set up uh, on some recliners that were uh, very close to the capsule there. Be careful. Okay, and just keep going. Clear. Okay. Like this, guys. Okay, and just direct him. And like this. Okay, just like this. <laughs> 